Irfan is 18 years old. He is a student. He's the third self-radicalized young person we have detained in the last two years alone. And uh, he was radicalized after watching videos online, uh, including videos of foreign preachers and ISIS online propaganda. And he wanted to live in an Islamic caliphate governed by Sharia law. He wanted to fight and die for ISIS. And he started saving and planned to go once he had saved enough money. And he made plans to declare an ISIS vilayat, it's a caliphate, in Singapore. And uh, he chose Coney Island. He made an ISIS flag. He wanted to plant it on Coney Island. He wanted to take a video taking, you know, of him taking the Pledge of Allegiance to ISIS, wearing his uh, National Cadet Corps uniform, ISIS headband, carrying a toy rifle. And it sounds a little ridiculous, but some other parts of his plans were serious. We arrested him four days before he planned to do this because he had also thought of three attack plans. The first to ambush and stab and kill disbelievers, and he said non-Muslims, Shia Muslims, and Sufi Muslims were all considered disbelievers, non-believers. So any one of those that he found he wanted to kill, uh, he bought a knife to do this. Uh, second, he wanted to recruit someone to do suicide bombing in Amoykui camp. Uh, he was familiar with that camp, the layout. Uh, third, he wanted to bomb Karamat Habib No, which is a graveyard attached next to Haji Muhammad uh, Saleh Mosque. He thought it was un-Islamic, uh, the gravesite, because it had been decorated, was decorated, and it was not at ground level. So he wanted to plant a bomb. He downloaded a manual to make C4 bombs, and he wanted to make the bomb go to the grave and detonate it. If he had carried out any of these plans, uh, particularly the knife attack or the bombings, it, you can imagine it would have been very damaging, uh, loss of lives, distrust and animosity in our community. So it was uh, quite serious.